Welcome back to Renee's Way. I am Renee, of course. I am back with another video. Um, so this video I was supposed to upload a couple weeks ago and I didn't have so much trouble, but we are finally here to get the tutorial uploaded. So this particular video is going to be um, how to make the infant ruffle socks. So it will be the sockless ruffle socks, but it will be for infant sizes, okay? Uh, so I'm going to go over everything you need. Uh, this video won't be as in-depth as my other tutorials. So if you need to an uh, in-depth video, like a super in-depth, uh, make sure that you check out the videos that I am going to link in the description um, at the end of the video, okay? Um, but I want to go ahead and welcome all my new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. All of my originals. Uh, thank y'all so much. I love y'all. Um, I've been trying to get back to everybody's comments. Um, I'm going to make a video um, after this one too and try to go through all the comments and answer the questions that people have regarding the tutorials. Um, also, if you all think it would be best or better for me to uh, go live on some days too and we can kind of work on projects together. Um, so if you all have questions at the moment, we can interact together, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get into this video um, and what we're going to need for this particular um, tutorial. Um, pretty much all of the same material, but uh, we're just gonna change out a couple things. So um, we're gonna need our scissors as usual. You're gonna need a lighter um, at the, so that you can seal your ribbon at the end. Um, thread, um, the thread I always get um, the same color as my tool, okay? So I match my thread with the tool. So um, the main thing with this particular video with the infant socks, is the size of the tool. So typically we use the six inch tool for the regular size socks. For this tutorial, we're gonna be using three inch tools. So you wanna make sure that you get in the three inch tool. Um, I did get this from Hobby Lobby. Um, I'll link it in the description. I do have another video that uh, shows all the supplies I had purchased at Hobby Lobby. Uh, so check out the videos um, on my channel if you wanna see that. Um, the ribbon you're going to need um, is going to be the 7 8 inch ribbon. So that is another thing that's going to be different with this particular one is the size of the ribbon. So you want to get the 7 8 inch ribbon. Uh, you want to make sure you at least have at least 5 yards total uh, for this project. Um, you're going to need measuring tape, elastic. So I got the 3 8 inch elastic. Um, since this is going to be more of a small infant sock, I try to go with like a smaller elastic. You're going to need a safety pin. Um, this is a bigger safety pin. I would prefer to use the little small safety pins, but I couldn't find one. So we just got to go with what we got. And then um, a high glue gun so that we can seal our ribbon at the end, okay? And then, of course, you're going to need your sewing machine. Um, I did have a couple people request on how to uh, set up a sewing machine. So I am gonna make a separate video on how you set up your sewing machine. Of course, our, every sewing machine is different. Um, they pretty much kind of set up the same, but I will make a separate video on how uh, to set up your sewing machine, okay? Uh, so this is gonna be a pretty quick video. We're gonna go ahead and get started. I don't like to have it too drawn out because I'm gonna get to the point type of person like most people when they watch videos. So I'm gonna try to make it as simple and short as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my sewing machine up. We're gonna go ahead and go over the tensions and the stitch, and then we're gonna get right on into the project. Okay, so I got my machine set up. I didn't put my thread up here. Um, got all my thread in. And my machine is like a digital machine, so uh, what you wanna do is put your uh, stitch on a straight stitch, and then you want to put your tension on a, a four or a five. So you may have to play with your machine a little bit to figure out what tension you need. Um, but usually if your uh, your ribbon is like rippled um, or something like that, it's usually you need to play with the tension, okay? So you may need to loosen the tension up if your, your, um, if your ribbon is looking like it's rippled like a tight pulley, um, you may want to loosen the tension up, so. But typically four or five is what I keep my tension on when I'm uh, doing my socks. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my stuff opened up. So um, this ribbon, like I said, is from um, Hobby Lobby, but I did link um, in the description um, online where you can get that from too on Amazon if you cannot go to Hobby Lobby or 
whatever the reason may be. Um, I do have online links to all the materials that we use today. Um, also, if you all are wanting to purchase the um, my vendor who I buy my bulk supplies from, so if you've already watched my channel um, from back then, uh, you know I usually use bulk supplies. I don't order from Hobby Lobby, especially if you want to do this for profit. I do not recommend ordering and buying from Hobby Lobby. Best to buy in bulk. So I do have my vendor for sale until I put the site back up. So if you want to purchase the vendor, uh, email me and my email is in the description. Um, so thank you to everybody who's already purchased the vendor. Um, please just reach out to me if you want to. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is go ahead and get our tool cut. Um, Cause we're gonna get into this. So you wanna take your measuring tape and we're just gonna lay it out straight on the table. And I may have to adjust my camera some so that y'all can see better. But my little desk is so little. Um, I didn't really have to improvise since I've moved. So I did get this little desk for $13 at Walmart. So I'm happy about that. So I'm gonna move the camera closer so um, y'all got a better angle and can see what's really going on. <laughs> I got the measuring tape laying on the table so we can measure out our tool. So we're gonna take our tool and what I typically do is just measure out. So we're gonna use a yard and a half for this particular project. So a yard and a half. So take your tool and measure out 36 inches because 36 inches is equivalent to a yard. And then what I do is usually hold where the 36 inches ends and start at the beginning of the uh, measuring tape again and then we're gonna measure out a yard and a half so we're gonna go to 18 inches so that we get a yard and a half okay so we're gonna cut so now we have a yard and a half but we gotta do this again so we got a yard and a half of tool and then we're gonna do the same thing one more time because you need one for each pair of ruffles, okay? And if you're having trouble understanding this, please, like I mentioned, go to the first tutorial because it is super in-depth. So it will be tagged. Okay, so we got our tool cut and it's in a yard and a half so 36 plus 18 so 54 inches total so if you just want to cut out 54 inches for each one you can do that too but i just don't got enough room for that uh, so we got our tool we're gonna keep that and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep our ribbon on the row you don't have to take it off the row so now what we're going to do is assuming you got your machine set up, what we want to do is we got our tool, but we want to fold it in half. So we're going to fold it in half and align it and we're going to fold it like a hot dog. Okay. So you got your tool and it's folded like a hot dog. So we want to take the side that is opens up I don't like this white because you can't see good but the side that opens up that we have folded is the side that we're going to sew on okay so the opposite side should be your closed side we're not going to sew on that part yet so we're going to fold it like a hot dog and we're going to try to line it up as much as possible okay so get it so this right here is the closed side and this right here is the open side and this is the side that we're about to sew along okay so this is our ribbon so um when you sew you want to make sure that your pretty side or your pretty side is going to be facing down when you're sewing okay so we're going to take our tool and we're going to put it on top of the ribbon okay so if you have a satin ribbon or a shiny side, you want to just make sure that your pretty side is facing downwards, okay? So we got our open side of our tool on top of our ribbon. And what we're going to do is we're going to sew along 
right here. So we want to sew up in the area right here, okay? So don't make the mistake of sewing down here at the edge of the tool because some people make a mistake. You want to sew in the middle along the top of the ribbon. And you want to try to get as close to the ribbon, the top of the ribbon as you comfortably can, okay? So I try to stay pretty close up here just so that I don't know why I feel like when you do it in the middle, it's a better chance of the kids uh, pulling that ribbon down and it ripping, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get started on this. We're gonna sew a straight line down. So a straight line down. I'm gonna move this again so y'all can see. Y'all know I had my craft room. Now I just, I don't got no craft room no more. So I'm in my, uh, in my dining room. So, okay. This is a better angle too though. So, open side, right here. We are about to sew along. So we're gonna take and put it down, put our latch down to keep our tool and ribbon in place. Let's get up close and personal. Okay. Y'all don't need to see me no more. We get into the to the business. So um, you put your latch down, roll your needle towards you, and then we're going to start slowly, and then we're going to backstitch. So make sure you backstitch, and then we're going to come straight up. And I like to go in increments. So I take my time to get little increments together so I can keep my tools straight in a line. And then once I get to my, the end of that increment, I start a new one, straighten it up. We're gonna keep doing this all the way till the end. So please, you see how we've sewn this piece right here? So this is how it should be looking, okay? Please make sure that you leave room up here, okay? Cause this is where we gotta put the elastic in order to make the ruffle. So make sure you're leaving at least the size of your elastic up here okay so that you have um, enough room to make a seam for that okay so we are almost to the end and these socks are for infant but if you like if you don't like the big big ruffles you can do this for big kid sizes too you do not have to this is not just for infants but we're we're doing infants uh sizing but you can use this same uh technique to make uh big kid sizes okay the exact same technique you just would use more uh more yards of tool and ribbon So we're getting to the end. Once you get to the end, you want to make sure that you backstitch and then come back up. Put your latch up and then we're going to cut the thread off and then we're going to cut the remaining of the ribbon off. So we're going to cut. So like that and then now we're going to seal, seal the ends of our uh, ribbon. So seal the ends of that, and then since we didn't seal the ends at the beginning of this one, because I forgot, we're gonna go ahead and seal the ends of the beginning. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut this thread off. So you wanna cut your access thread off. And then now we're gonna come and we're gonna do the same thing with our second uh, pair of ruffles. So this will be our second pair of ruffles. And again, you're gonna fold it 
like a, a, a hot dog. So it looks like it. And you're gonna be sewing on this side right here where it opens. So same thing, make sure you align it. Try to get it as aligned on this side as possible. And then we're gonna take our ribbon, make sure that the printed side, the pretty side is facing downwards and then put your tool on top of it. And we are going to put our latch down. Our needle is down. We're gonna start sewing slowly and then back stitch. And then we're gonna, like I said, I get mine together in increments, make sure my tool is straight in the line. And then sew a straight line. Okay, so we just straightening and going straight. Line it up. Keeping it straight. Another thing, it is if, if if you do go off center some while you sewing and it's a little uneven like that and it's not right on top of each other, that's okay. Okay, it's it's no problem. Um, if it does pass, well, you can't really pass on this, but if you can't keep it directly on top of each other, just make sure that you're sewing both pieces of this side down. Though you want to make sure that you don't accidentally. You're only you're not only just sewing one side down, so you want to make sure that both of them are at least being sewn down on the on the open part. All right, so once you get to the end, just like the the previous one, you want to make sure that you back stitch once you get to the end of your um, ribbon, and then we're gonna cut off our thread, and we are going to cut our ribbon. We're gonna take our lighter and seal the ends. And then that is gonna be it for your ribbon. So it should look something like this, okay? So you see how I, you wanna make sure that you are sewing right here in the middle and not at the bottom of your ribbon, okay? So this is how it should look. The closed side is empty and then the open side is now sewn down by the ribbon, okay? So let's focus that, there we go. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to make a seam up here, okay? So when you're making your seam up here, you got your elastic, I'm sorry, this light is bright. Okay, so we got our elastic. So you wanna make sure when you got your elastic, you see how big my elastic is? This is three eight inch. You wanna make sure that your seam is big enough for whatever size elastic you got can fit through it, okay? So we're gonna get this open. I literally had to go buy everything to make these videos, cause I got rid of everything. So I gotta start over. So this is the three eight inch uh, elastic. So what I'm saying is, since we're making a seam, you want to make sure that your seam is at least below where the elastic will be. So usually I'll measure out um, my elastic on here 
and then on my sewing machine I'll set it up on here so I can know exactly where I should probably start sewing my seam. So uh, most of your, most sewing machines have your little uh, measurement lines right here. So what I usually do, I use these little measurements as guides down at the bottom so that I know um, how far I need to sew out. So since I'm doing three eight inches, I take my elastic, I put this down, I measure it out so I can see where I'm at. So I'm gonna take it to about right here. So let's see where I'm at. I am at, I am at the, at five, eight inches. So I'm at five, eight inches on my little measurements on my machine. So what I'll do, is we're gonna just the same. I keep this on the same stitch. You don't need to change your stitch for this, okay? So keep it on the same stitch. Measure out your elastic so that you know exactly where you need to be sewn. So the thing with this is you can make your seam bigger, but you don't wanna make it smaller than your elastic. So if the seam is bigger than your elastic, that's no problem. If the seam is smaller than your elastic, you're gonna have some trouble or either you're gonna have to get some smaller elastic, okay? So with this, we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna um, start off and we're gonna back stitch it and then we're gonna do a straight stitch. So I'm taking it up, I'm back stitching it. And so with this, instead of me focusing on keeping the tool aligned together, now my focus is, is my measurement. So I'm more so paying attention to keeping the edge of my tool at the five, eight inches so that I can make sure that I got a super straight um, seam and that is the right size for my elastic to fit through. So that's what I'll do. So right now, I'm just, my eyes is on the, the measurement. I just want to make sure I'm making a straight seam that's big enough. And with this, you are literally just going in a straight line all the way down. As I'm getting to the end, I'm slowing down. So I was sewing kind of fast because I'm used to doing this. So, um, and I know we, we're literally just sewing in a straight line. So um, I know it's kind of repetitive. So now that I'm getting to the end of the, the tool, I'm gonna slow down though, cause I need to backstitch. So you wanna make sure that you, once you get to the end, just like the beginning, you backstitch, okay? We backstitched it, we closed it out. Now we're gonna pull it out and cut our thread off. Cut our thread. So now this is what it looks like, okay? So now we have our seam up top, which at the end is where our elastic will go through. So we got a good straight seam. If the seam is not straight, if you're new to sewing, you're not fully comfortable sewing yet, it is totally okay. That's the good thing about these. I don't really think that you can mess them up. Like they can be saved. <laughs> they can be saved, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the thread off the other side and then we're gonna go ahead and do the next set of ruffles. So we're done with these little pair for now. We're gonna put them off to the side. We're gonna go and do the same thing. So we're gonna make our seam for this one. Again, I was on. Okay, so of course my phone has stopped recording as I kept going. So what you're gonna do for the second pair of socks is repeat the first step. So you're gonna repeat the first exact step so that both of your uh, ruffles look like this, okay? So you wanna make sure you got your seam on the closed side and then your um, ribbon at the bottom. So now what we're gonna do is these are done. We don't have to sew no more of that. What we're gonna do now is take your elastic and then we want to cut four inches of elastic, okay? So we wanna cut off four inches of elastic. 
and you're gonna need two of these. So you're gonna need one for each pair of socks, okay? So, four inches. So now this right here is really what makes the ruffle of the sock. So if you was making these for bigger sizes, then you would just make, um, you would make bigger um, elastic and use more yard, okay? So now we have our two pieces of elastic, which is what's gonna create our ruffle. So we're gonna take our safety pin and we're gonna put it through, um, through your elastic. So you wanna take it, and stick it through so that it looks like that, okay? And you wanna come down enough so that it doesn't rip off at the top because if it comes off at the top while you're um, weeding it through your tool, you're gonna be mad, I'm telling you now, okay? So <laughs> we're gonna take this, so we have it on our elastic and we're gonna take it and we're gonna pull it through the opening, okay? So you got your opening like this, it's a little hole right there and you're gonna take it and you're gonna push it through here. So it's now inside of your hoe. That didn't sound the best, but yeah, so we're gonna push it through. So you're gonna push and you're gonna pull it through on your elastic. I'm hoping my phone doesn't cut off again. I just bought 50 more gigabytes right before I started this video and it's still cut off, I don't understand. So you wanna make sure that you hold in the end of this so that the tool doesn't come off on the opposite side. So I kinda of just wrap it around my finger and pull it. It may be a little difficult the first couple times. That is 100% normal. You will get used to it as you continue to do it. But as you see, you can see it's starting to ruffle, right? Okay. And pull, push, and pull. I got a little piece stuck on there. Push and pull. I really like the little look, the little, the little ruffles. They're so cute. They're so, so cute. Especially on the little babies. They're going to be so cute. Aww. If anybody wants these socks when I'm done with them, comment. You'll have to pay for shipping, but that's it. So about $3 for shipping, $3, $4, but so this is how it's looking. So now we got it all the way on the um, elastic and so you can just pull it to the middle so that all, the, it, all of it's sitting in the middle. So we're gonna use our same safety pin and do the exact same thing with the other pair, okay? So we're gonna take our safety pin and put it through here, through the elastic, just like that. My little safety pin is going through so much, I literally found this. I had to find a safety pin. By the grace of God, I found one because I could not do this video without it. So I was like, well, I'm gonna have to wait because I don't even have a freaking safety pin. So same way, push and pull. Make sure you hold on the opposite side so that it don't come off on the other side. Push and pull. Push and pull. So now's a good time if you don't have your uh, hot glue gun set up, you can go ahead and get your hot glue gun set up. I don't have mine set up, so I'm gonna have to get mine heated up. So just keep pulling, pushing. Again, I'll have all the materials and uh, links in the description for the vendors. Email me. All right, so now we have our second one, just like that. And you wanna try to keep the elastic straight so that it's not folded like this when you're putting it through. Just try to keep it straight as possible. And if you if it does get folded, just you can straighten it out once you when you get all the ribbon on here, or once we get it all uh, connected, you can just straighten out the elastic. Okay. All right. So, like that, I'm about to get my hot glue gun set up. 
Okay, y'all, so I didn't got the hot glue gun heated up. So now what we're about to do is we're gonna just take and we're gonna glue this together just a little bit. And so we're gonna about to overlap it about a, uh, a little under a half an inch, just enough, you know, you wanna have some space. So we're gonna take it to that right here. And we're just gonna glue that down a little bit so that when we sew, because they sew little, it's not so hard to put under the sewing machine and keep them together, okay? So this right here is just the extra little preventative steps of that. So you see, we just got it glued down because we're gonna take and put a little small stitch um, in the elastic so that it is 100% secure. So we're gonna do the same with these pair. Just overlap a little bit. Okay, so we have both of these glued on the elastic. Now what we're gonna do is just uh, sew a small um, stitch where we glued it at, okay? So usually I'll just do a, a straight back stitch, straight back stitch type of stitch. And that's just to secure the elastic. And it don't gotta be nothing perfect, nothing spectacular, just a stitch. And then I'm gonna cut all the thread off. So thread is cut. And then we have a little stitch right there. And then we're gonna do the same with this one. Add a little stitch, just so we can secure the elastic. So now we have a stitch where we have our glue at, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna adjust the um, tool around the elastic so that it's evenly around the elastic. So we're just gonna adjust this. And then this is the time that you can use to, uh, if your elastic is like kind of folded, you can try to straighten it out as you move the uh, the tool around. Like mine's a little folded, and that's what I'm doing. I'm just straightening it out as I'm moving the tool around so that it is back to its flat, natural state, okay? So this is what it's looking like. So this right here. I look at the little tiny hole. That's what it looks like. So we're gonna do the other one as well. We just gonna um, straighten this out. Move it around. And what I like to do too, is I like to put the opening of my elastic, I like the, I mean, of my uh, ribbon, where the it opens right here. I like to kind of overlap that over where we put the stitch on the elastic so that it's covering it. So we, you just move it all, make sure it's evenly around. And then now what we are gonna do, it's just, this is our last part. We're gonna take and we're going to fold it like the McDonald arch, and we're gonna put glue. We're gonna glue just a little bit of inside of that, about a half an inch, glue it. And this is just so that it gives the illusion that it is um, connected so that you can't tell that it's actually connecting at this part. So when you're looking at your ribbon and at your socks, it looks as if it's all one, okay? And then do the same with the the second pair. You're just gonna fold it in like a McDonald's arch and glue it. And 
and that is it. And it should look somewhat like this. You can play around with them, fluff them, fix them. They so cute and they are so little. I got a little toilet paper roll because I don't have my mannequins here. And if I did have a mannequin, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be small enough for uh for this at all. And I don't even think babies uh baby uh ankles are the size of a toilet paper roll. I don't know, I could be wrong. It's been a minute. Uh, but it should look like this. Look how cute. They so they so little. Um so this is the finished product. This is what it should look like. This ends the video. They turned out so cute. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure that you like the video. Leave a comment if you have questions. Um, email me. My email is in the description. And if you ain't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you all want to start going live together. Um, and I will start doing a holiday project since we got Halloween stuff going on so that we can start working on some new uh, ruffle ideas. Um, but again, I appreciate y'all. And until next time, guys, peace.